No, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, this is 1D8 plus 1, Lena Orbs, and Dimming Sage Block 9, uh, with Chad Brown here. And what's on the uh, picture there is the Ansoff Matrix, and that matrix has four grids. Now, the matrix uh, helps make a choice when your organization has the capacity to expand or when you suspect it isn't using the full or right range of products or offerings. And much like the strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat grid, this is similar. And in this grid, uh, that's a picture of Ansoff. That Ansoff picture is from the Miss Eastas. They're on YouTube. Uh, you can search them out and uh, give them some likes or subscription. Uh, that would be great. Uh, I found it one time when I was trying to find some information on uh, the web about uh, Ansoff Matrix. Some mid cross reviews type thing in, in web, but when I went to video or images type thing, uh, this is one of the videos I came across uh, in cross referencing, and it is quite um, the impressive um, skill set on, on the Ansoff Matrix or breakdown. Uh, it goes beyond just the definition. They try to show in each one where there's like a uh, analysis where a lead off analysis. So it's a really great presentation. It's about six minutes, and it's 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 pretty cool. Um, here, our product is our character, and our product is the character theme, which is associated with hit points. Now, in that hit points, um, along with the supporting cast to help you maintain your character. Um, this one's going to be great. This is a, actually a happy 150 to myself type thing. Happy 150th. Yeah. And in here, uh, to Castadine of 150th type uh, 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 Hunger Games thing, but it's not quite in the direction of the book, sticking in that type of sense. This whole here with these hit points, uh, 150 allows us to bring a Wookiee in. Uh, it's a sub for our game and also a Jedi in for our game at the starting level. Um, so here, the start of that is getting the Swoop Accelerator. And we're going to take that in our first grid. And we're going to use Energy Shields and the Ansoff Matrix of uh, Market no man, market Development. So sit back there and enjoy... Uh, yep, it's market penetration. That's our first one there. And we're going to use the energy shields and we'll come back to review it and talk about the advantage of just not going in unprepared. Oh, you're talking like Brezhik didn't steal that engine himself to begin with. No one about Kachichu Aitha Odunga In King Kunoba Mulira Chikun Slim Apodona Rundi Odonga Kun Hunkabi Tonga Bugsham Uninong Wanga Kun Beast King Bamulira Chuni Yun Tun Jiji Aitha Duana Kavavolpa Muljui Kamana Mana Mana Tota Aku Chikra took Pola Jishok Chonatong Chung King no Una Punk Pa Mulira Kun Kili Kun Kili no Pa Watati Manyo Kola Una no Ku Mulira We eat a Nadana Itia Watayuma Kawama Huha Nick a shunk turong umnipatoga. Wana kun best ching pala mul tongi. Smilia, ti umpa do punta krita. Topana oto vascasa. Achuta, 
Wonga kun bis dolpi king kunyana tung patoga smaktelia.
All right. That's the first battle there. And we're looking at the Ansoff Matrix, Market Penetration, Use Energy Shields. Um, using the Energy Shields, they're in the inventory of your character, usable items, if you use the X button over to them. And the Energy Shields have a kind of a trick to them. You want to use them in the usable items part for your game cycle time type thing. And by game cycle time, you can do them in there uh, and touch your wrist like a... Uh, uh, well, like uh, some type of like spy movie with your walkie-talkie type thing. Uh, but you don't want to waste the action in combat for it. So just go ahead and use uh, the energy shield in inventory. And then once you come back, it'll use your roundup for that. And then you're ready to go in combat with your energy shield uh, in place, uh, giving you a cloak of uh, force energy protection. What? Yes?
Sure. Ready. What? What? Ready? What?
Ready? Yes? Now we're at the Ansoff Matrix Market Development Quidditch Beater. And in the Quidditch Beater, you're dealing with the, the point of uh, kind of an Act 1 uh, climactic reach or threshold. And we've been working on a kit point site thing and just like the Weasley brothers who were like a brutal gang, but we haven't lost anybody in years. No one's uh, died in years type thing and that means that uh, are those guys who are basically helping out the goalie and the Seeker and the uh, Gryffindor's main team uh, score. Uh, so basically they're kind of like the hockey enforcer off the line uh, bench to, to come off of that type thing into the game and, and give some shield protection too. Uh, we've got that type of hit points. We've got 90 hit points and uh, we're now seeing the effect of keeping our character do that for six levels to go get Bastila.
in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon wana kumbes chi pala mulek tonki pa na nonek tu nik ton chun chun ke nemolek rabest uf mala ni bokurk. Kachi chu aitha hautunga in kin kuno ba muli ra chin kun slima bodona rundi hautunga kun hongkabi. Une pudo rana no prata do go shirkasha tum a pike Tava do baku palia muka pata puda na chaku i kun kono pule marachi ko tong na bong sha no ya kava volpa multi kunda
You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker's spy. You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gadden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. Divine Rebu, 
Can chop a chow with tea chop twees, yun kun. What to yama kama wona henak neck? Bugra shak kunti chi wa un chawa. Dong a book shami no nok. Shag ji kina lorcha watamwana. Kin kun shi shi kin. Nikin kun ban mula rag ji kun. Wama kun pes ching pala mule. Tune rana nu prata. Dong ko searcha domatama? Rundi Hadonga Kuhungabi Wana Kumbes Jink Palamul Tong King Ba Nakongek Tung Ting Tachun Kun Nek Muli Rabest Tong Hai Tuam Jiji Yumalith Ba Ninkotu Tolba Da Bunk Walia Gando Da Nago Chuchut Kachi Chu Aitha Hadonga Yumalith Ka Ninkotun Chilo Mulra De Nebobo Gokun Iskang Bamulara Takum Justak Miki Grabble Mogo Kachichu Ita Bodunga Tolbabank Waleoganda Naru Chuchut Bogisha Punga Bola Wana Chikne Bamule Slimo Pudadana Nanga Kumbis Mule Rabes Just kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo patona. Rundi hodonga chikon kabi. Chawana bota ayuha tahonga chakanki dora. Kachi kuita hodonga. Topa da bungwa li agando do nado chut chut. Musha papumpa bola wana chitne. Bamuli slimo bola wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Chiska du suki kumba na bona na kachu. Abtu inkotu. Topa da bungwa li agando nado chut chut. Kabachi kuita hodonga Yalamo in kapun Jilo wa mulira ni bobo Wango kumbes kakang Ba mama rulira 
Chawara bota ayua tahonga chakanki dora. Kachikui ta hodonga. Topa da bon kwalia gando do nano chut chut. Musha pa pampa, bola wana chitne. Bamuli slemo boda wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. Kuyami just kuna chitanai. Ina kun bama ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo patona. Rundi hodonga chikonkabi. Kuyami just kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo patona. Rundi hodonga chikonkabi. Ya toka uluan kinkuna ba muli ra ra chikun. Mucha shak pampa. Na boda ni winky smack toma. Wana kun best ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kick. Tok ning cha muli ra ra best. Uba batu gochi. Tong nong bong chong nung yang. Tong katok smack delia.
Contichani mulira ashong turung umni patoga wang kajone tize ikratuk hatu chichi ya watayuma kawa mahuhanek kipuna puna na kachu kimba no mulina natwana tun kimba no kunek kava tumpa kun palia mokata. Wanga kun bis king ba mulira kakinja na kwa ba kun kava tumpa kulpa yia potenya taku ju stah miki grabul mogo kachichu ita botuga tordogok wale oganda naru chuchut bolisha punga bola wana chikne ba mule slimo puta dana nanga kubis mulira mes Nabodani will kiss my toma. Wanna call best Jingba Marulira. Tok Jingba non kick. Tok Ninja Mulira Rabes. ジュスクナジテナイイナクンバマルリララチクンスリモパトナウンディハトンガチホンカピディアトカウルワンキンクンナバムリララチクンムチャシャンパンパワナチキヨンワナボタコンティタリティ Chichin <laughs> 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 
People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. 
clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all!
Well, maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Vulcus would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Not win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The 
course is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Hey there, what can I do for you? I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subjects closed, as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Okay, have it your way. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezhik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find me there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Yes, well, I hardly consider myself a damsel in distress. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, after all. But I won't deny you've impressed me with what you've done. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. The Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success, though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training, but as it is... I'm sorry, I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you are gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet.
Okay, now that Ansoff matrix product development stimulant equals 100 plus hit points. We are in the product development matrix part of the Ansoff matrix, the strategic management part. And in that part, we are looking at the product development of hit points. Of hit points, we have the party. We've got energy shields, which kind of give a uh, temporary protection of 20 hit points to your hit points total type thing before it actually starts taking it from your life total. It'll take it from the shields total. And we've got um, stimulant development, which is funny to look at uh, Basil and say, like, I'm not going to quaff some stimulants here. Yeah. Um, but in that, that means um, they're just blue pills of hypo type. Okay. Uh, with with that, we're going to uh, uh, <laughs> uh, do uh, basically the stimulants are general stimulants and battle stimulants and hyper battle stimulants. But you don't want to waste the hyper and battle ones before the arena. I haven't gone to the arena yet and made a mistake of using that stimulant of uh, the concussion grenades in there without having my Republic mod armor to, to protect me. You'll see more of that later. But with the stimulants, once I hit 7th level, I'll be 105 hit points, and the stimulants, uh, general stimulant will push me to 119 hit points in the arena uh, versus ice and moral and twitch. Um, so real convenience, real uh, continual product development of our hit points, which are part of our character. We have now entered another extension of making our high hit points even higher. I'm here. What? Yes? What can I do?
Mm-hmm.
this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars Sage who belongs, Swami? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said, these streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. A drink? Hey, hey! Bruce Mummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this Lummy's buying the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. We're late enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. What's this? Another off-worlder? I didn't realize how many of you there were on Terrace until this Sith quarantine. You ever seen a sweet bike? I seen them at the races sometimes. They go fast and make lots of noise. Didn't you just win the big swoop race in the lower city? Yes, it was you, I'm sure. That race was amazing. Alright, we're now in the Ansoft Matrix, uh, Diversification, uh, Grid 4, Unique Product, Sale, but this, uh, market, um, Ansoft Matrix Grid is considered a suicide sale and is Basila a Jedi. Uh, the reason why it's considered a suicide sale is because you're not selling an existing product, you're selling a... Uh, something you haven't tried before amongst your customers and probably without much benchmarking amongst your com customers of whether or not they really wanted or needed said product. Um, and this one's fairly difficult and ironically probably one of the easier ones I think despite the fact that it's supposed to be the worst uh, reach out or extension of your market products or development of your character. Basila is a Jedi and uh, she is on Taurus and she's trying to escape there with you she fell off uh, into our spar with you in an escape pod or escaped with that type thing of an escape pod and so it's not much of a, a difficulty in putting her in party lead as much as the Wookiees that you've been putting in party lead the Wookiee or Karth or anybody else in that matter okay so from that um, we are uh, that uh, from from that we are uh, also switched out for mission type thing, so that she could be the party lead and do the same thing um, as far as use her sneak attack or use the twenty strength of Zalabar or uh, the time we sneaked attack the the um, uh, Volker lieutenant and in the uh, base. Uh, things of that nature type thing um, now you're doing the same thing with uh, Bastila and uh, Bastille Day Bastila and it is not uh, a difficult thing to consider the fact that she is uh, going to uh, be in the party lead and can lend her Jedi capabilities to helping you get past the rest of the Rackle Serum problem or in getting past um, the military base which has the Taurus launch codes so that you can get past the auto targeting uh, uh, hovering sea lasers type thing in uh, outside of uh, Naboo uh, the equivalent situations outside of Taurus type thing when they discovered R2-D2 on that silver Naboo ship as they were flying away from uh, the Naboo planet trying to escape the auto targeting lasers um, so we're now going to go demonstrate 
uh, this uh, cell capability of Bastila when not she's helpful to the group. And we're going to be among several uh, rat ghouls, which are like the time machine uh, creatures that kind of re reverted themselves, even though they were human living in the dark type thing. And they're kind of like that, or World War Z zombies type thing. Or the South Park World War Z Zimmerman thing with the hairpiece of Brad Pitt and getting ready uh, to engage uh, in combat. So sit back and enjoy a little bit of a turn around the corner and watch the uh, add-on application function of Bastila Shock.
Thank you.